<laughs> Can I have something that you probably shouldn't be doing in this coffee shop right now? Oh. <laughs> Playing hockey? Playing hockey? We will play oh. hockey. Blades of War. Alright, Jimbo. <laughs> ah, you brought, you brought a, a hockey stick to the air hockey? You Just used the puck? <laughs> well, you see, I intend. I, uh, this is why I'm standing on the table. <laughs> you told me hockey. The puck is in, in your goal. Um, no, it's against my skate. <laughs> How did you, you. You realize that, that this only supports about 100 pounds? Yeah, good thing I'm 99! <laughs> <laughs> Big swamp here! Hold up! Foul! Timeout! Wait, Touchdown! Wait. <laughs> you invited Larry? Larry is one of my best friends, and you know that. But he takes everything ten times too seriously. I think you're the one taking things too seriously. You're not the one! You ever be taken too seriously. Well, I mean... Yeah, Larry. <laughs> well, why don't I... We gotta start. Get All off right. the table, let's go. No, no. Wait, let me put my whistle. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfair! Your skate's blocking the entire Cut, 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 cut. That was, that was really great, guys. I think we should wrap it up and be done. You see what I just did there? That was acting. You know what you guys did? Crap! Here, here's what I want to do. I know it's January, but I really think that, that we can still spread Christmas cheer. That's always welcome. So I want you to do the whole thing again like a, ho uh, like a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> just give me the Hallmark Christmas movie, ice hockey, Larry the, yeah, just, just action! You know, Derek, I think it's gonna be so great now that I got you this brand new ice ho air hockey thing in order to play a For Christmas Happy Christmas. We're British now. <laughs> Jim Bob! You said it was going to be a hockey rink, not an air hockey. I bought the equipment. Look, I know that I, I promised you a whole hockey ring, but we're only in the second act of this movie. We have to have the big sad moment right before the ending where it all works out. So I have to look like I'm lowering your expectations. Hello, I am the magical old person that is the referee that will help you get what you want. See? It's, it's just like the real you thing. Believe in Christmas magic. Is there gonna be a dog too? They usually have one of those in these things. <laughs> now, now honey, I did spend a lot of money on this, so I'm gonna need to get off of the table because it only holds 100 pounds. Let's you know I've been working on my figure. <laughs> 99! I know, but you haven't gotten there yet. Let me blow the Christmas cheer whistle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, this this is so spirit. much fun! You, you cut, have cut, 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 cut. That was a bad idea. It's January. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> I think that we can be we can be doing better. We can be appealing to the younger audiences in the room. I want you to do it like like children's programming. Like spell stuff out, that kind of thing, alright? Children's programming, let's try it. Hi kids, have you heard of air hockey? That's A-I-R space H-O-C-K-E-Y. Air hockey. This episode of Hooked on Fonts, where I teach you about it. Okay, so this is an air <laughs> hockey rink. Notice how it's a table approximately two feet above the ground because you're all kids. And this is my trusty assistant, Jimbo. Hi, Jimbo. So what did you bring to our air hockey game? I brought skates, a helmet, gloves to drop if I want to sock you, and a hockey stick. <laughs> no, no, Jimbo, we don't use those in air hockey. Everybody, can you all say, no, no, Jimbo? <laughs> no, say, no, no, Jimbo. Exactly. Hello, Rachel. It's time for Silly Songs with Larry the oh, Ripley. I need to drop my whistle. <laughs> Woo! Can everyone whistle time. say whistle? Whistle time. Whistle. Whistle time. That's your favorite instrument. Whistle time. Cut, That's cut, my favorite cut, too. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, gosh. Mr. Rogers was more normal. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. I think that we can really capitalize on making some more money with this movie if we do, if we do some product placement. So here's what I want to do. I want you to do it like it's a mashup of insurance commercials. Like State Farm, Farmer's Insurance, give me some flow in there, some Geico. Just, just trust me. Trust my magic. Action! 
You know, you never expect it when you're just playing a normal game of air hockey and somebody who's 101 pounds jumps on top of your air hockey rink and it can only hold 100 pounds. But that is why I got generic insurance salesmen right here in order to sponsor me. You see, generic insurance salesman always appears whenever something like this happens. And it makes it so that uh, when you're just playing it and your son Jimbo just jumps on top, he's got you covered. You got us covered. I do. My name is Larry, the Geico wizard referee. And I got this covered. Oh, I'm so glad. Could 15 minutes solve this? No. But it could save us 15% or more on car insurance, That's right? That's not the slogan anymore. <laughs> oh, it's... Cut, 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 cut. That was awesome, guys. Thank you. You're not going to be stars. Okay, scene. <laughs>